This last part of the lecture is practice putting together all the ideas of molecular shape, hybridization, and bond strength. So here is the molecule we're going to analyze. I rather doubt it's any real molecule that exists because it has definite synthetic challenges. We'd like to think about hybridization angles and shapes of the centers one through four and also look at bond order. So our first question asks for hybridization, approximate bond angle, and shape about element one. So that would be this carbon right here with four single bonds. The next question concerns element two. So that would be this nitrogen here with three single bonds, but doesn't it seem to you like something might be missing? Doesn't this nitrogen need eight electrons around it? So feel free to octet. Now we have the same question for element three. Now certainly that hydrogen-carbon-hydrogen -hydrogen bond looks to be 180 degrees, but I hope you'll count the electron regions and come to a different conclusion. The last question concerns element four. This is the oxygen with two single bonds, but just like the nitrogen, I hope you'll look at that oxygen and decide that perhaps it needs a lone pair or two. The next question asks which bond is the strongest? So you need to get the bond order of bond A, B, C, D, and E. Now a caution for you, I hope you see this structure and are reminded that although it is a static structure on paper, there is resonance. And I hope you look at this particular bond here and say that is a six-membered ring, but I don't think any resonance occurs there. Now that you have the bond order from the previous question, instead of the strongest, how about the longest? And finally, which bonds are exactly the same length? And I want you to be aware that in order to be exactly the same length, it must be between the same atoms. So a carbon-nitrogen single bond will be a different length than a carbon-carbon single bond. So that is not your choice.